Some people say that we are in the age of mammals, but that's completely wrong. Because in reality, we're in the insect age. Even though there's more than 7 billion people on Earth and more than 120 million mammals, the population of insects right now is 10 quintillion. And that means put a number 10 and put 18 zeros in front of it. This is the amount of insects on Earth. So we can say it's the insect age, not the mammal age. Even though there's plenty more insects to go around, but they don't have the power of the mammals. Even though there is some dangerous ones, but most of them are good for the environment. Insects were not always like this. If we go back to the Carboniferous era, around 300 to 350 million years ago, there were insects living here that they were considered giants. In that era, there was a giant dragonfly with the name of Meganeura. This is the ancestor of the dragonfly you see today. It had a lot of power back then. Its wingspan was around 70 centimeters. If you see a pigeon with its wings open, it's pretty much the same size as this dragonfly. But a lot scarier. We're lucky insects are like this now, because I don't think we'll survive back then. We can say all the insects back then were giants. You guys know the centipede. The centipedes back then could be as long as two meters, and they had a width of half a meter. This is the biggest insects on the planet that did not fly. It just walked on the ground. One question, why is it back then that these insects were so big, but now they're extremely tiny? The main reason is oxygen. Right now in the atmosphere, there is around 21% oxygen. Or back in the Carboniferous era, the oxygen level was 35%. And one of the main reasons was that all the land on planet Earth was kind of like the Amazon. And you wouldn't see like North Pole, South Pole, old deserts like you see today. Anywhere that was land, it was basically a forest. These trees would absorb all the carbon dioxide in the air and release oxygen. And the forest was so thick that they rise the oxygen levels. Scientists believe that in the Carboniferous era, it was the highest percentage of oxygen in our atmosphere. And this oxygen allowed these insects to grow this much. And it was also applied to other animals as well. The insects in the Carboniferous era went through evolution in a way that used all the oxygen in the air and made itself grow larger and larger. But the insects you see today have a weak respiratory system compared to their ancestors. In the laboratory of Arizona State University, they created an environment with 35% oxygen. And then they put dragonflies in there to see what happens. What they saw really made them surprised because they noticed that the dragonflies are growing rapidly and they're also getting bigger, not their normal size, but a lot bigger than a normal dragonfly. You have to know that being large and strong doesn't allow you to survive long on this planet. However big you are or strong you are or smart you are, there is always that danger. And that is why, around 275 million years ago, when the Permian age started, Earth started to change. The oxygen levels really declined. And it got to low as 16%, basically cut in half. Scientists still don't know that why in this short period, the oxygen levels dropped this much. When the oxygen levels goes lower, the Earth got warmer. And the warmer the climate got and the less oxygen, it created swamps. And the swamps caused microbes to grow, and the microbes would use all the oxygen and release carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. 
These microbes and swamps cause the oxygen level to go lower than 16%. After these years, there were no fossils found of giant insects. All the giant insects were destroyed before the Permian era and no fossils were found. The giants still continued to live, but day by day they got weaker and weaker. And you guys already know how big they are today. Even though the population of insects is a lot higher than Earth, and some people believe that insects run the world, but in reality, the insect age was the Carboniferous era. An era where a dragonfly is the same size as a pigeon, and it could be found everywhere. Two meter long centipedes that would scare you to death would be crawling everywhere. The first time they found out about the giant dragonfly, it was the fossil from France. This fossil was founded in 1880 in France, and it showed us for the first time that giant insects actually lived on Earth. And this was a start of a chain reaction to find more. They estimate that this is 300 million years old, and it has a width of 65 centimeters. Scientists also believe that even though these insects were giant, they still wouldn't eat their own children. And they have an idea that this insect would lay its eggs in the water and the baby would be born in water and it wouldn't come out until it's big enough. And that was much safer for the baby. This is the fossil of that giant centipede that was founded in Nova Scotia. And obviously it's from the Carboniferous era. Scientists believe that this was a baby version because it's only 50 centimeters long. But in Scotland, there was its footprints found and it turned to a fossil. In this fossil, it shows us that it was around two meters long. Right now, the biggest insect in the world is this one and it's named Giant Weta. It's a grasshopper and it lives in New Zealand and it could be as long as 27 and a half centimeters and it weighs a good amount, 71 grams. It's good that it lives in New Zealand and it's not close to me. But what do you guys think? What would happen if these giant insects were alive today? Do you guys think that humans would eradicate them? Maybe some people would hunt them and eat them because they have a lot of meat. Please comment and let us know what you think.